What is up guys? So today we're gonna look through some battles TV replays of some dartling gun action because it is the new meta in my opinion and Asian Sensation actually did a video on this uh, three days ago I think and it got 18 thousand views now that that is ridiculous but i'm not doing it really for the views i'm kind of doing it because i actually really enjoy the strategy um so first we're gonna go into a game against stcc so he is he's really good at the game he's got a 90 percent record i probably put something um i probably put his like record in the thumbnail or something also i'll try um to block out the timer for these games because it just gets really really annoying i know i know it does and also perhaps i'll put a poll um, asking you guys if you don't, if you like or dislike these battle TV, uh, battles TV videos, uh, because sometimes I can't record, so I do have to do it um, on uh, battles TV. So if you do like that, um, then do tell me in the poll, and of course, um, press the like button. I'm not going to say smash, but uh, uh, because I'm not like Boltrix or someone. Now I'm just kidding. But um, we actually hit 10,000 views on one of my videos today, which is absolutely insane. No, that, that is the first video of mine to hit 10k. I don't know why, because it had Dartling in the title, and yesterday, it, it suddenly, it's an old video, it's a two week old video, but yesterday it suddenly got 4,000 views. It's just like, why? Why has it got so many views? I don't understand. Um, also, my name is indeed sub to Festnik, so you guys should sub to Festnik. Um, <laughs> basically, I do this thing where you guys um, choose a name for me, and you guys chose sub uh, to Festnik. That was the most popular one, so that is indeed what I'm calling it. Also, you can see that there's a really big vi a visual a um, like glitch um, with the Dartling gun, so balloons pop out of nowhere. It's really strange, and I do not like it. Um, so you can see his Dartling gun isn't aiming at anything. And look, it just popped. It popped out of nowhere. Those yellow balloons. It's it's so weird. Look at look they, look. Uh, how are they popping over there? The Dartling gun isn't it isn't even targeting them. But anyway, so perhaps I should have gone eco in this game because you can see he has ice, um, Dartling, sub and village. Uh, he didn't abuse the uh, the, the um, because I, because I did large rush. He didn't use the sub. Thank God. That would have been that would have been rip if he had used the sub, but he didn't, which is nice. And I went farms, a village, Dartling, and I, I actually got ace, ace for my fourth. Um, but at some for some reason it's like oh no, I see. Never mind. Just no, I'm just being stupid. But I get the village up because with the with the hydro rocket pods, um, with the with the monkey fort village, it makes the hydro pocket uh hydro pocket it makes the hydro rocket pods shoot out two rockets. It is insane. That, that is why it's so good. It can handle a regen rainbow rush so damn easily. So easily. And it can it can do camos as well. So I send a small zebra rush at STCC. And he has enough money to get up the ice shards. And he already has like 800 eco. Which is pretty insane uh, for this round. But again, it is patch. So, you know, it's not that insane. Because it is patch. And um, patch is a very, very easy map very very easy but i got my factory on round 16 i believe which i was pretty i'm pretty happy about round 16 factory not too bad i think i think the the earliest uh, I'm, i may be wrong here but i think the earliest you can get factories like round 13 if you don't build anything or you build minimal defense and they don't send you anything i think that's right i i could be wrong of course I, i'm usually wrong to be honest but you can see he has over 1k eco on round 18, which is decent, which is decent. Uh, if I were him, I would be ecoing a bit more. He's kind of, he's saving up a bit of money just in case I send a BFB on the next round. Because, you can, yeah, you can see he's sending spaced rainbows, uh, which is actually a good form of eco if you're trying to save up money. Because uh, he wants to afford the, the he wants to afford the, the ice slowdown and then get the hydro rocket pods up. But you can see I have two... Uh, almost, uh, almost fully up. Yeah, two fully upgraded factories by round 20 compared to his 1,700 eco. Now that's about equal, but as he carries on ecoing, like the rounds gradually get longer as we go on, um, which means that eco players will have the advantage because they're getting that money every six rounds, whereas my farms only generate a certain amount each round. It means that he will generate more money in the long run. Um, so, yeah, I think on really long maps like Patch, Eco is probably the way to go, to be honest. Probably the way to go. So, you can see here, I send a oh my god. I do not know what I was thinking. Um, but I, I sent a oh my god when I got my third factory. And, look, I boot, that's why I facepalmed. I boosted it. 
just a tiny bit too late. It's so stupid. So he slows it down. Um, he, he shows he has the sub, uh, but he does not use it because he didn't want to abuse the fourth tower. So you can see he gets the balloon area denial system up. And you will see this absolutely well. You, you'll see what it does. It is insane how good it is. It, it, it is so insane. I mean, he does have the ice slowdown. So if he didn't have the slowdown, he'd probably have to get a bit more defense up, to be honest. But you can see how easily it is handling at the zone. Oh my god, it is damaging it so well because it's shooting out two rockets at once. That is why it's so good. Two rockets at, at, at once is really good. So you can see it's coming around. It's coming around to the last bend. He uses the rocket ability. You can see it, and he demolishes it. Absolutely demolishes it. So. I am still uh, lagging behind with three factories. About to get my fourth. Yeah, I've got my fourth one. Whereas he has 2.5k uh, eco. Actually, no, wait. I have five factories now. Yeah. Forget what I just said. I have five factories, which is pretty decent. Um, but it's round 26. So, honestly, the best thing I could have done was probably to all out Oh My God Rush right now. Um, but I didn't. I think, uh, I think in hindsight, perhaps that would have been the best thing to do. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not completely sure. But I feel that that would have been... Way better than just like waiting it out late game. Not saying that that happens. I'm just saying I think I should have rushed now. Um, so you can see I get the balloon area denial system. I start ecoing um, so I can generate that extra money because I filled up all the space with farms. I believe. I believe you can only fit five farms. Perhaps I'm wrong. Like I didn't test it really. Um, but building up my eco to 1.3k. He's got three. He's got 4k eco right now. 4k eco before round 30 is decent. So. I go for my all-out rush. So you can see I'm, I've got a, quite a lot of money. So it's kind of it's kind of ironic. I was getting so much eco, um, and now I'm just ruining the eco by sending oh my gods. Uh, but oh well. So I'm sending. I send two spaced oh my gods, and then followed up with fast cooldowns oh my gods. And uh, he's gonna have to micro this pretty well. So with the MIB uh, cool to arms ability, now that 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 will make it attack a lot faster. With the jungle drums as well. And the ability and the ability and the monkey fort surely it will be able to take out this rush by the way my phone was lagging out so damn much my phone was going crazy with lag literally one second was like 10 seconds on my phone it was crazy so you can see how massive this rush was it was absolutely huge i mean they weren't round 32s oh my god i could have waited for another round but i decided not to but this is a massive oh my god rush and you can see he's getting his dartlings up and he uses the mib call to arms and look at how powerful that is it just look powering past those oh my god it was it was absolutely ridiculous um it, it was really good really 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 good it's such a good defense like holy holy cow look at that um and it's round 32 as well, so I need to be careful. He sh if he would have counter-rushed me, uh, I mean, he, he obviously wants to defend for the video, obviously. Um, but if he could have counter-rushed me with some BFBs, and I would be dead. Because uh, I can't really sell anything. I would have died. But you can see it's getting to the end of the rush, guys. Getting to the end of the rush. Still has a few Zomai oh gods left. But... Let's see what happens. Will he defend this? Also, I'm just going to thumbs up the own, uh, my own Battles TV replay. Oh, yeah. And then I send a ton, a ton of BFBs behind that as well. Um, I sell some of my stuff. Go for all out BFBs. Phone lagging a lot. Battles TV, for some reason, is lagging as well. He defends. He's almost defended the Zone oh My God Rush uh, with the Dartling. There's still actually a Zone oh My God there that still hasn't been popped. And it's getting, it's actually getting really close because he can't target his, um, he can't tug his dart, uh, dartling on the other BFBs, but you can see on my side, there are two BFBs coming in, so I have to boost, but with the boost, can I pull through? I don't think, I don't think I can take out these two BFBs with this dartling gun. You can see he has to boost again, because the BFBs I sent are actually getting really far on his side, um, but I've got the, I, I look, he, he leaks. To 31 lives right there. He leaks to 31 lives. That is it. That is insane. Um, insane um, defense. But he does defend. Um, I mean, there are a few more, but it was it was close. It was damn close. He 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 told me afterwards he couldn't place the village down, so he almost died. Right. So you can see on my side, the mobs are coming in strong. Uh, I boosted, but will that be enough to defend? And sadly, you can you can see I go down. But it was a really good game. So GG. 
It's a really, really good game. And let's jump into some more games with the Dartling Gun. Now, some, most of these other games uh, aren't quite as good, to be honest. Um, which one should we jump into? Which one should we jump into? Um, yeah, because it was CC open, and, and CC isn't that great, to be honest. So, we're going we're to jump into this game. Um, this one... Well, this one was better than the other ones, to be honest. Like, I have been playing so much of this strategy recently. But it's been CC, so no none of the players are really that good at all. Which is a real shame. Like, I'll get another Dartling Gun video, um, or another good quality video with Boss Arenas or something next Tuesday. And it's BFB tomorrow, I think, and maybe it's not. I don't- I don't on- I, I don't honestly know. Like, you can- you can- Actually, while, while we're talking about Discord servers, because I, I was going to say you can check out um, the timetable for arenas in Ninja Kiwi's Discord server. But talking about Discord servers, join my Discord server. It is in the link in the description. I'd be happy to have some more people. We have 330 people at the moment. Let's try and get that up to 500 by the end of the year. That would be really nice, guys. That would be nice. Having 500 people in a Discord server. Awesome. And yeah, th thanks once again for 10,000 views. On one of my videos, it is insane. I don't, I don't know how we managed to hit 10,000 views on a video. It's ridiculous. Um, but here, I'm pressuring him because he's got boats. I'm pressuring him with some greens and then sending some pinks over the top. But I forgot that boats have a massive range, so actually it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. I mean, it still made made him leak quite. It, yeah, it it got rid of a third of his lives basically. But I thought it would do better, but I forgot that the boats had quite a big range, so um, they, they can target it better. So, for some reason he gets up a village there, which may I don't even think that's in the range of the boats. So that was a bit ridiculous. <laughs> like, why? Why it's, it's, oh dear. But what I'm thinking, to get rid of the timer on Battles TV, I'm thinking, uh, right, so basically, I, get, I, I type in a dash, I get out a really um, a big font, and then make uh, make the that cover the the thingy uh, with my editor and cover the whole thing. So maybe that will work. That probably didn't even make sense. I did not explain that well. But luckily the village is just in range of my darling gun. You can see the visual glitch um, again. It is so annoying. Like you can see you can see some of the balloons just popping without my darling even touching them. It's, it's really weird. It is strange, guys. And right now you can see my darlings are focused down there. I was trying to fit a farm in the bottom. Uh, right hand corner of my map, but I just couldn't okay. So round 13. I can't rush him with anything. Look at his defense. It is solid um, uh, Yeah, so I got frustrated. I just went for the Republic because I couldn't fit the farm but he, has, he has a solid defense right now. Fire Wizard is actually quite good and with those three grape shot boats He could easily just sell a farm upgrade one to destroy it and defend easily maybe even without an energy um, So that's why I didn't rush there because it, it just wouldn't have done anything to be honest Um Maybe I should have in, in hindsight, but nah, not really. Not really, guys. So, look at this. He sends me a regen lev rush. I boost, and with one dartling gun, one zero zero dartling gun, I defend the whole regen lev rush. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Like, how good is dartling gun? So, I do leak a bit. Like, battles TV lag is stupid. Um, but I defend. Then he sends me some camos. It's like, boy, do you not even know that dartling can get hit camos? Like, obviously they don't. But that's that CC for you. That is CC for you. But I was r very surprised um, at how well uh, the Dartling handled it. Uh, uh, handled the region legs. It handled it very, very well, um, to my surprise. Right. So yeah, join my Discord server if you haven't. Also, there's a if you if you're ever on Reddit, um, there's actually a, a subreddit for Bloons Tower Defense Battles. On Reddit, so if you want to join it, it, it is pretty good, guys. You should definitely join it. It has some interesting tips. Um, there are YouTubers such as myself, Tyler, uh, Aliens Rock 50. I mean, um, he has lots of names, Anacondas, whatever. Uh, Isab, uh, although they're not very active, Blaze it and st stuff like that, and it's, it's pretty fun. So here, I went full stupidness, and look, I sent a BFB. I did not realise he had the boat. I was, ah. Uh, Oh, I was so stupid. So you can see, I'm not face palming him. I'm face palming myself. That's why I said oops. But oh, that was so dumb. Roast me in the comment section, guys. Roast me in the comment section. That was that was so dumb. I may even make an intro on it, uh, to be honest, because that was so bad. Very. <laughs> I don't think I've that. That's like a super John Bombo. Now nah, I'm just kidding. Pulling a super John Bombo. But 
here I send some fast cooldown mobs and for some reason he goes for the phoenix instead of getting destroyers and the phoenix you can see isn't targeting the ceramics and sadly guys he is taken out by the two mobs um, which is pretty sad but he is right so I think we're gonna end the video here guys I hope you enjoyed um, I'll make some more videos on Dartling if you guys want. Actually, if there's another short Dartling one, if there's another short Dartling one, oh yes, oh yes, guys, oh yes. Let's let's jump into this one, guys. I think, I think in this one, I oh, let, you you're just if this is the right one, you're gonna see how stupid it was. So you can see it's CC because this guy is anti stalling with Ninja. Um, actually, maybe actually no, I'm not gonna show it because. This may not be the one, and if it isn't in the end, then I'm just going to look so stupid. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let's just check uh, Let's just check the weekly competition, see who's at the top. Um, yes, my boy, seven times harder at the top. He has an awesome, um, awesome YT channel, guys. You should definitely check him out. Um, so, yeah, where's Marwin? Is Marwin here? No, I guess he doesn't uh, grind CC, to be honest. We got YT, Team USA, BTD. I thought he had quit. Maybe that isn't the right guy. I'm not sure. Let's see. Seven. Yep, seven times harder is at the top of there. I'm 992nd. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.